welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lydia Longo and I do hospital motherhood and home videos if that sounds interesting to you click on the subscribe button and give a thumbs up on this video and leave your comment during the video so I'm sorry I look and I sound sick because I feel sick and I seriously don't know if it's like mentally or physically or both I just feel drained and very sad and upset and yeah I feel shaky all the time and today I'm actually going to a hospital for to take my blood so that we can do like blood tests and see exactly what in the earth is happening to me the doctor wants to know if it's only like if it's physically i'm like physically ill of the it's just like my brain playing sick and making me feel sick but anyways i just came to the new house to drop some curtains and now i'm going to the hospital it's a long way because the GP is busy so the doctor sent me to a secret hospital which is quite far from here I need to pick two bars but I think I'm gonna walk and just pick one um, because yeah I feel like walking and feeling the breeze in my face so without end delays let's go and I hope we found out what in the earth I have I am at the bus station, but I have to wait 20 minutes. My boss, because he's the only one that goes there. I really don't feel like it, but I have to. So, guess I'll wait here. Okay. I'm actually lost. I mean. I don't just know where it is. <sighs> but I'll find it out. But I go it's a craft. I just need to find out where is the Seacraft clinic. This is the view. Um I don't know. It tells me it's one minute from here. Like I'm such a bad in I'm not very good with directions. I do not find things, like, even with maps, just not working. Like, where do I turn? Oh, this is so annoying. I'm so tired. Like, seriously, I've been. Oh, I'll explain when I get there. I just need to find a first. I don't have much time left. Yeah. I actually think I found it, guys. Look how high this is. Like, even with map, how am I supposed to know that it's behind the school? And aside from Tesco's, like, literally killing me at this point to find this clinic. I <laughs> just, it's funny, just look how high this is. Oh, I think. Ta -da. This is the clinic. Are you kidding me? Entrance. Um, it's closed. So. I think the hospital is closed. Like, it's, it's not working. Nobody's here. Like, literally. And the GP asked me to come here. Like, what the hell? He says, we are making the craft clinic a better place for you. Blah, 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 blah. Um.
link so the we can do this we are moving a service from 24 to a near clinical building okay so i think i have to go to this building what the hell oh anyways let's go there hours and hours away to get to a hospital that it is closed since December make it understanding like how does this GP send me to a hospital that is literally closed I didn't even knew so I get out of my house feeling sick get there it's closed huh? and then no <laughs> And then I called her and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, you can come tomorrow to take the blood test to your GP. And I'm like, you guys said it was busy. Like, you guys made me spend money, walk, I got lost, I wait hours in the bus station to get there. And then you guys telling me, oh, you can come here tomorrow. You could just say that at the first time. I don't understand why the GP does that, those kind of things. Like, if you're living in UK... Let me know if your GP is like it's a good GP or the kind of GP that you call 8 am and I mean like 8 zero zero and they're like oh, I'm sorry we're fully booked because mine is like that I do not understand I'm literally tired upset that I went out spent a lot of money got lost for what to come back without a blood talking out of me but anyways see you guys tomorrow i just came back from the hospital i mean from the gp and the lady that took my blood he was an angel like i'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> i had i have her right in, in my arms but yeah and I was so scared it was going to be painful, but she was so gentle. And she just popped once and the blood was kind of like water in the river. Like seriously, <laughs> every time I take blood with a nurse that is black, they are so rough and it hurts. But this was a lady that was also black, but she had that, her hand was so gentle, like seriously. and. I saw her and I'm like, oh my, like I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be painful. Like she's gonna poke me. Like she's, you know. I was so scared, but no. Like she was amazing. Ten out of ten. She's the best, hands down. But yeah, I took my blood and hopefully by Friday or Monday I'll get the results and I'll update you guys and we'll go for that. I just want to say that.
last a month. The results come out and I have this light and screen. It's little, it's just like low vitamin and some kind of complicated name. And my sugar is kind of high. I mean, not that high, but a little bit. So they prescribed me two tablets, or two different kind of tablets. So I can take like for three months. And I'll just take before I eat. In case this makes me hungry. Let's see. Because here it doesn't specific that I have to take before eating after. So I'll just take before. My God, why is it so small? It's literally so small. Anyway, I didn't test anything because it's so small and I just swallowed. I have water running in my face. And then this is to take twice and then the rest next month and then the next the month after. Ooh, it looks like fish. Can you guys see it? It's just like, ugh. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't know why, but this is literally giving me the you know, the thing that I should like kind of show it <laughs> even though it's like don't show it just because I know it has liquid inside but I don't think it should, it must taste good so I'll just swallow it I didn't taste anything but yeah, let's see how I feel after this because medication makes me feel sleepy. I hope this one does not. So yeah guys, this is what I had. And the doctor said for me to literally just like reduce a little bit sugar, but I don't have to cut it though. So yeah. Anyway, I don't like recording myself eating. Although I just think I'm a very messy eater, so it's not really very sticky. Hi guys, this is the next day. Would you guys believe if I told you that I was like just eating the bread, I mean bagel, and I just feel so tired, but I keep eating and the next thing I know, I just woke up and it was like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. So the thing is, I think you guys have heard, have heard me say that I'm very sensitive to any kind of medication, even paracetamol, it makes me drowsy, like makes me feel sleepy. But this is just an, today I didn't even take the medication, I decided to just take like before I go to bed, because like other way I'll just go and sleep, you know, so I don't, it won't mess with my day. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today because I have to do other video which include cleaning but anyways I just wanted to come here and say I'm sorry for stopping the video suddenly because I literally just fell asleep yeah but I hope you guys like the video even though this video wasn't that perfect but it just took me so long to record this video that I'm I just didn't put as much effort as the other videos but it was just to record like the whole process of finding out what I had which is like low vitamin and acid fluoric acid or something like that that is low and the pH sugar is a little bit high I still think there's a lot of things like not good with me but like I said before it's probably just my mental health and that makes me feel sick but if you guys like uh, this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel leave your comment down below and yeah i hope 
to talk with you guys or see you guys in the next video which is Wednesday so I'm not wrong so see you Wednesday bye bye pumpkins I'll bring a very exciting video on Wednesday I promise I mean not that excited it's gonna be me but I'll make it excited bye bye